the next game that I started while the last one was saving. So captured in the centre and then the pawn attacking the knight. So then we captured the knight because our opponent forgot. So then we captured a pawn and then captured their bishop. And now they've moved their queen to in front of our king area attacking our bishop type stuff. So we're up a minor piece at the moment. probably want to maybe attempt to try and keep that so if we dropped our bishop back here he drops his pawn and our bishop can take the pawn and then we're on the queen because he's probably expecting our pawn to take so that his rook can take our queen maybe he might not do that he may just push this uh, f pawn down so the queen's in front of the king area no people nobody likes the queen facing the que uh, king area um, but it's usually better if it's supported by other pieces so the only ones that can support it probably a rook rover bringing his rook down bringing his rook across or pushing these pawns down our bishop's attacking this pawn here so his queen's come back and protected he probably could have just um, pushed the pawn down but he's uh, going greedy munching for a pawn here um, and a pawn here yeah key one the one that is in front of the king so it looks like he's actually won a pawn the critical one probably is this one so probably bring my queen off of the line off of the x-ray of the rook and protecting this pawn don't want to be greedy we're up um, three points as it is so a bishop and a pawn or something like that So his queen can come down and greedy munch so we can put pressure on the queen and we'll win this pawn at the top if we wanted to depends how what is because uh, the bishop and the rook are on this pawn so the bishop could take but probably take with the rook because the rook will just face off the bishop x-raying through <sighs> So these are back to back um, little mini series that I'm doing. So win some, lose some, win some, lose some type situation. But it's, ju it's showing this missing stuff that I keep leaving out. And I'm really, really trying to get to the bottom of it. It's helped all the way through practicing the mantra, practicing all the different elements. Uh, this is one that is now sort of like standing out amongst all the others. So it's it's improved my game, doing the mantra, practicing all of these um, games. Um, I've done like a thousand, almost two thousand videos of my journey, learning how to improve my chess play. So I'm quite happy with them. So now I'm starting a new era, and just uh, keeping the mantra as it is, but it's now part of me. So I don't need to um, go through each of the moves or the strategies strategies or concepts it's just now it's part of me it is in me and now as part of evaluation it's looking at the key things that stand out most and trying to rectify them I'm never going to be 100% proof I'm, I don't play like a computer um, I've been practicing quite a lot of the stuff I've learned from the evaluation which is good and I'm still trying to get my head around some of the concepts and strategies and techniques that the computers use in order to make particular moves and one day maybe I will start playing like that but sometimes I've still got to challenge what the computers are saying because a human has got emotion they've got intuition you know it's um, you know it's that sort of oh well if you're playing a human you'd expect them maybe to act in a certain way if you were attacking a certain piece or if there's a sort of position on the board you would say more times out of ten a human would play that the shock factor comes when they play like a computer <laughs> so that's when you go oh well didn't really expect that but those are few and far between I must admit those are few and far between apart from one particular site, um, online site that I, I know of um, where it's pretty rife 
So the problem we've got is, yeah, and they know this, if our rook goes and takes the pawn, then his queen takes our rook with a check on our king. Yeah, so that's that's pretty nifty. So if we did take his rook, then puts a pin through onto our rook, we can always bring the bishop back. If his rook takes, our rook, <coughs> our rook takes. So I'm going to take with the bishop. I think it would be well see how it pans out but I think it I feel like it would have been a missed opportunity not actually capturing the pawn initially I, yeah so his bishops come there uh, his rooks come there sorry can we bring the bishop here to trap in the queen that's something I didn't think about that could come here his rook takes rook takes If his bishop then wants to, his queen wants to go and attack the pawn, we can bring our bishop here. Yeah, let's do that. So rook takes, rook takes. Queen here attacking the pawn, thinking it's clever. Bring the bishop here, defending. Brings his other rook across. Well, no, I can't do that because the rook will take it. The rook's come down anyway, so we'll trap the queen like we said. Well, it's not trapped, but you know, blocking it off a little bit. And it's got a double edge thing as well. The bishop can go here, blocking the full the access that they're wanting because he's going to double his rooks up. Looks like anyway. Yep, so he's doubled the rooks up, so we're going to just bring the bishop here. So that was quite a nifty move, I believe, bringing the bishop to this side rather than bringing it back here. Because now it's um, got all this purpose here as well. It's got diagonal through to the king. It's blocking off two crucial rooks on their nice open file. So we can just now bring our rooks across here, attacking this square. Key square, or bringing the queen into the game, whichever way. And this pawn now is being defended by the bishop. He might do a sacrifice thinking, well, the bishop's been overloaded. But it's making use of the extra piece that I've got. So I have actually got a minor piece up, um, plus a pawn, I believe. So I've tried to make that an advantage rather than just sitting it back here, sort of um, really doing nothing. Hmm. Yeah. So in this um, missing stuff series, um, yes, I've 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 won games, I've lost games, and I've won games, and then I've lost games. Um, I'm hoping this is an advantageous game here, but we we'll, we'll have to see how it pans out. Because just because you've got extra material does not mean you're winning the game. You have to find the appropriate positions. And my opponent can still find maybe potentially appropriate positions. So we want the queen back, queen angling towards here. We could look to see if he wants to exchange with a little cheeky thing because the thing is we're putting pressure on his king area as well. Because we've got the diagonal from the bishop onto the um, f pawn. So I think he probably will take. Although he may be thinking, well, he's got a bishop and two rooks. I, I don't want to be exchanging. So if he goes back here, then I suppose in a way he saved it. But then our rook can come here, then we're tripling up. And the pawn can't move because the queen is the king is in the pin at the moment. So we might be up on tempo in terms of pressure in this pawn. Although I see he can bring his rook back, can't he? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So I think you get out of chess what you want to get out of chess in terms of, like for my own personal development in my personal life, 
it, it's really helped me um, give a focus on dealing with um, um, really difficult situations and stuff it can take you into a whole different world so that you can just focus on developing creating your creating a new self within your hobby and and that's what hobbies are about i think you know it's about taking being able to take yourself away from um life in general i suppose and 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 focus on just being a good you being a nice you yeah and you know, not re not not resorting to anything malice or or anything like that because of the bad things that have gone on in your life. Just basically taking a rain check and having a look and say, well, what what can I do to make myself feel better? So it's actually it's gone to protect the pawn, like we said. So we can still bring the rook, like we said here, to give it a bit more pressure. This pawn is okay for now, I think, unless of course he's looking at pushing it down, we can still take, or take with the queen. So his rook is going to come back, like I said, so he's going to have the support there, he's got the king. One, two, three, three pieces there. And we've got three pieces attacking, so we would need to get our other rook involved, so we push that one up, get this across, he's got time to bring... Oh! Ah, ah, his rook is going to go there, attacking my queen. Yeah, me and my fancy talk. Yeah, so his rook's going to attack our queen. So he's got the rook rover thing pressure that we talked about earlier, pressuring towards the my king area. So I need to work out what I need to do from that. He's not done that. He's not done that. He's taken himself away from the... Am I missing something then? See so if I take with the queen, say... No, so if I take with the bishop... No, I'm not going to take with the bishop because it's holding court here quite nicely. So just grab a pawn and just maybe come back down just to be safe. Could look to challenge the queen, but the queen can go across again, can't it? Oh, but jump, jump. Oh, oh no, we're not. Oh, I thought we had the queen going down, rook takes, but his queen is actually covering that diagonal. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Triple up. Like we said. White square, dark square. Does it make a difference? I don't think. We triple up for a basic. Am I trapping? Am I going to get trapped? So if his queen moves out of the way somehow, then his rook can come in front of my queen. I'm going to go for it anyway. Triple up. If you know what I mean. If he if his queen comes here. then I go with my rook, then his rook can go in front here, but then we've got two rooks we can take and capture, right? Okay. Uh, Woohoo! Hey! And still, he's got the rook. Oh, I keep I keep missing that, don't I? What are you opening the door for? Um. So yeah, his rook can come here because he's got the support of his queen. Oh, that's a horse of a different colour. So if he goes there, then if I take his rook, oh yeah, I suppose in a way that's okay. I take his rook, still got a check on the king, his queen has to take, then the rook takes, and then that's checkmate. So maybe they might forget themselves and just bring the rook here, and then we're on to a winner. Hmm. Interesting times, interesting times.
Oh, here we Queen's moved down again. It's attacking something. Attacking this unprotected pawn here. Because if we go with the triple, like we said, and we allowed him to get this position, which it looks like he's probably going to get, this rook won't be able to go up because he'll have my king in check. So I could move my king. Or I could bring my queen down, attack his queen. <clears throat> I'm just mindful that his rook can, can come over, but maybe I'm overthinking that. I'm going to attack the queen, and he's going to take the pawn. And we we do have a pawn here. So it looks like it's going to get a bit scrappy pawn for a pawn which is better he takes my rook is protected at the moment I take uh, his rook sir his rook maybe goes down to attack and I can't take this pawn because his queen is protecting there I can always come back to this square here but I don't want to do that Take this pawn. No, I can't take that pawn because the rook will be up there. Isn't it? Queen takes. What about this diagonal here that I might have even forgot about? Oh, we've got some sort of sp spectator. Don't want to spectate my games. <laughs> Sometimes there's losses and losses for a reason. <laughs> um, queen takes. Queen takes. Rook. Does take greedy munching. Queen takes. I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I've, I'm feeling it's a positive move, but I don't know what I'm going to do after it. Because I'm believing his rook is just going to come back. So then, where do I go? That is the question. not to be silly and just go here thinking I'm safe because I'm still being attacked by the rook not to come here attacking the queen because I've got oh oh bring the rook here so it's a 2-2 two, two. it's coming out with some cleverness Hmm, interesting. It's captured. Oh, it's gonna. It's getting a draw, isn't it? He's scrabbled a draw. I can. Oh. Oh. I'm not sure about that though. Because my queen can go here before I go rushing with a check. Only piece that can defend is this rook here, and then that's checkmate. Ooh, good job we took our time then. I genuinely didn't think he had anything there. It did look a bit worrying. And that's all she wrote. 
that was a very interesting game and missing anything I don't think I missed anything I think I tried to cover off areas that potentially were forcing me to miss stuff I'm going to have a look at the analysis on this particular game I've not done that for any of the others but for this one here I just want to have a, a little check dun, 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 dun. Oh, somebody's done like a um, a check on the what's its analysis or something or the other. Well, as you can see, I'm not using any tools. I'm just here. I've got my webcam. I'm, you know, this is all me. So they can throw in whatever questions they want. And da -da 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 -da. I think it's still whirring. Is it? Is it still whirring? Oh yeah, it's still whirring, yeah. So they've they've report they've requested an analysis, you know. Um, eight times out of ten people do it because they think, oh that person's using an engine because they beat me so well. Yeah. Um and other times, like me, I like to have a look um and say, right, where can I improve? There are occasions where there are people that uh, have played erroneously and you do get you do see it in the markings yeah you know it shows like zeros and stuff like that for you know zero inaccuracies zero mistakes zero blunders and you think wow that's like a perfect score um, but for this one I've got two inaccuracies and two blunders I could actually go for the learn from your mistake thing let's click that right learn from my mistake so I went and grabbed the pawn so it's saying that there was a better move you know now I'm looking at it now I bet it's this oh it wasn't all <laughs> this is what I'm saying when I finish the game then afterwards I see the better move oh my god missing stuff it's absolutely crazy and the next one let's see if I get this one right okay so I went and put my rook here and it's obviously saying that there was a better move and I don't know if I can see that just yet um, nothing's coming straight to me nothing's coming straight to me taking here I can't take his rook because I'm in a check I, I thought there was no problem with this rook move actually it's saying why it's winning look at the gauge bar um, What? What? Eh? Um, I don't know. Uh, da, 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 I don't have the answer. Is it something to do with the queen? No. Bishop. What about the bishop? No. I don't. I. See so if we move the king, then obviously the queen just takes. So that's not good. Queen going to attack the rook. no clue I just I'm gonna have to ask for the solution on this one it, it's gone for that the exchange what taking oh and why it's still winning <laughs> that's a bit odd isn't it so if the pawn took then that what oh no I don't I, what was wrong with mine I don't think no no I'm sorry I'm confused I'm confused I'm confused what was wrong with mine okay so black is out and out winning here wow crikey so I should have actually gone with the, my king across taking it off of this pin but taking that pawn was no good, it's saying. 
Yeah, keep going, keep going. Wow, White is completely winning. Oh, if, if he'd have taken the pawn with his rook, well, gone here with his rook, it's saying I was getting wiped out. Woo, dear of me. Good job they didn't do any of those moves then, eh? Ah, oh, surreal. Okay, 